Hello and welcome to the next Lukota Retro Game Review video, the 450th. I can't believe I've done 450 of these. Yes, I know I say that every fucking time, but... So, uh, this one is Carrier Command for the Amiga, um, widely regarded as the first uh, real sort of classic game. Yeah, with good reason. So this was uh, written by Real Time Games and was published by Rainbird in 1988. Now the fact that this came out in 1988 meant that I already had my Amiga by the time this game came out. Which is a bit surprising because back in, I think it was probably about 87, early 87, when magazines like Zap64 and that would have like, you know, a couple of pages dedicated to Amiga titles. They always had like, you know, the same old ones being shown, so they always showed uh, Terrapods, uh, Barbarian, the Psygnosis one, uh, Stunt Car Racer got shown a lot, um, Damocles got shown a lot even though that was nowhere near finished, uh, Xenon got shown a lot, fuck knows why, and uh, this one. And uh, I'll start with a bit of a confession. Uh, when I would see like the screenshots and all that in the uh, in magazines, I had no interest in this game at all. I thought it looked boring. But then you know that was purely a uh, opinion that was based on seeing still screenshots of the game. You know, so i'd never played it but it, it, it never really grabbed me that changed when um i played the old uh, atari st version first and i was extremely impressed and a couple of days later i got a hold of the amiga version so um right well there are two games well it says there are two games actually the action game just takes place quite a way into what would have been a regular strategy game <coughs> that's my sentiments exactly so uh, we'll start a uh, strategy game just so I can talk you through like the uh, various aspects of the title so here we are then at the on the uh, bridge of the carrier and we are uh, right by this island here the island of Vulcan and this is an island that uh, we uh, control. Uh, now, if we go to the map, we can zoom in. So there you go, you see Vulcan there. Vulcan is set up as uh, our base map, uh, base uh, island. Uh, it's also uh, currently our stockpile island, which is a bit irrelevant actually at the moment because we're currently stockpiling nothing. So what we need to do is take control of uh, various neutral islands which are all in green and we can take control of them and then you turn them into either a resource island for building up resources which is basically fuel um, factory islands for building up you know uh, spares and uh, additional uh, equipment that you've used and then defensive islands which will attack uh, the enemy uh, as it approaches them if we zoom out a bit further so you can see uh, our one island is blue neutral islands are green and enemy islands are red and you can see at the start of the game that the enemy already has control of eight islands now if you look uh, places like the uh, Lebanon Amiga site uh, for example when you look up uh, carrier command you'll see a lot of people complaining and saying that the game cheats in so far as uh, it um, lets the enemy um, appear in uh, at uh, islands it wants to take over and whatever uh, a lot faster um, well yes the enemy does appear at the islands a lot quicker but it doesn't cheat, that's bullshit. Um, let's just uh, click there, that's uh, where we want the uh, carrier to go, so we'll program that, that's uh, the autopilot. So first island we're going to is Cerberus. 
Now we could just set the autopilot on, but if we do that, the ship starts moving forward. And as you can see from the depth uh, gauge here, we don't have uh, very far to go before uh, we run aground. So we want to turn first before uh, we actually get going. So anyway, uh, yes, the uh, enemy carrier is a lot more powerful than yours. Uh, it's... Um, fucking hell. Uh, yeah, it's a lot faster. It uh, can carry a lot more equipment. It has much better um, firepower armaments and it has better armor. So it's superior to yours in every single way. Now you compare that to like modern games where it's more likely that uh, it's going to be the other way round. Your uh, carrier is, you know, the vastly superior one. The enemy starts off with fuck all in the way of islands and you start off with, you know, maybe half a dozen. So in this game you are very much the underdog. Um, you start off with just one island under your control. The enemy has eight. And the enemy is in a far more powerful carrier than yours. So yeah, the odds the odds are stacked against you. That just makes it more challenging. I've got no problem with that. Uh, I hate it when people complain saying, oh, it means the game's cheating. No, it doesn't. It just means you've got to be good at it. So... <clears throat> so anyway, we're moving away from this island now. We're just using the autopilot to get there. Once we are away from uh, the island's sort of uh, surrounding area, uh, this part here will change so we have islands and have no uh, island uh, or something like that. And then your speed can go up to maximum. It will automatically go up once uh, we reach that point. And to be honest, it doesn't take too long for uh, the carrier to get to um, any of the islands that are you know, well, as far away as this one. If we go back to the map and zoom out, so you can see, yes, our island is here, there's the carrier, and this is the island we're heading to. So while we are still underway, let's have a look through uh, some of the controls then. So I've shown you uh, a couple of them already. So this one here is just the screen we're on is obviously it when you know you want to take control of the uh, the carrier itself. This one brings up the map, which uh, you've already seen in use. This one brings up the status panel, so it shows you the uh, damage status of each of the various systems. You'll also see that it has some priorities uh, set with uh, each of them. That is. Yeah, that's the uh, automatic repair systems, those you do want kept high, and then the actual main superstructure of the carrier itself. But here's where you set the priorities. Uh, I find that the priorities are fine as they are, I really don't need to change those, so we can leave those. There we go, so island none in range, so we're now going at maximum speed. Next uh, setting, this is showing us uh, all of the equipment we are carrying. Uh, also has the amount of carrier fuel, aircraft fuel, and uh, AAV fuel. I'll go through what the aircraft and the uh, AAV. AAV is the amphibious vehicle, the uh, walrus. So yeah, we haven't used any of these yet, but uh, once we are, once we do start using them, we will need to get you know resupplied and, and stuff like that. Same with fuel. Now with fuel, I always set the carrier fuel to high. AAV to medium aircraft fuel, yeah, is okay as it is. So that looks like that is how much is available, but it's all at that uh, same island, um, which is the island we've just left. And then any messages that come up, they are stored here. So that's everything for uh, this uh, top section here. As you can see, we are now approaching the uh, island of Cerebus. So we'll uh, actually 
I'll prepare one of the walruses so we click on this one here now again you can actually use the map for the walrus I don't really bother because I use it as quite a short range vehicle so this is where you uh, set up the uh, payload for it as uh, we've just arrived so let's uh, just uh, I want it to get a bit closer. You can use these up and down arrows to change the speed, but I find it easier just to uh, set the speed by uh, clicking on the necessary barrier. So you can see the depth is now going down, so this is as close as we want to get. So, right, we're going back to the walrus then. You can see uh, its payload, it can carry a maximum of 2,000 kilos. Uh, so what I always stick on is the laser and then if you want to take over an island you need to take one of these which is the uh, automatic command center builder pod and you can change these to one of three different kinds so you can have the factory the resource or the defense I want to gain resources so I will take it as a uh, resource uh, builder so that is the uh, walrus kitted out this is where you would launch it and also where you set up the uh, automatic uh, docking again this just uh, reveals the statuses of uh, each of the four walruses so we'll launch this one and then we'll click here to take control of it we'll turn off the autopilot send it to the island actually before we do that click that that turns on the radar So, see, we've got the uh, laser fitted. Now, I don't know if it's necessary to actually clear out a space um, before setting down the uh, pod to uh, create the particular base you want here. And also, when you're on land, the AAV can travel faster than it does on water. I don't really see the need to uh, go much faster at the moment. So what I usually do is clear a bit of a space around. dropped the uh, pod so that will start building up the uh, base we can now return back to the carrier so twilight is another island which has been taken over by an enemy Now the walruses are launched from uh, the rear of the carrier so we need to head behind it before we can uh, return the walrus to the uh, docking area. Okay, uh, you can see there it says outside docking cone. Once it's inside like so, now we can uh, call it back. Once it's in position, the camera angle will change, there you go, and you follow it back in. Now once it's uh, back inside, uh, you will need to uh, you know, refit the particular payload you want. Notice that these uh, uh, pods here, I've now lost one of them because I've used it, and there we go, Cerebus is now a friendly island. So, uh, yeah, I'm still on that. I don't want to be uh, <laughs> using the uh, walrus to uh, sort that out. So, we now look at the uh, resources. This is now sending resources to the base. And it can go on to either this island here, this island here. The base could then carry on to this island here. So, this one looks like uh, a good one to make use of. So bring up the carrier map again, we'll zoom in a bit, no, in. Uh, 
and uh, yeah, right. click there, program the uh, autopilot. Again, I'll turn the ship manually before uh, engaging the autopilot so that we don't start moving forward and get ourselves run aground. So you've seen how to use the uh, the Walrus, but that's not the only vehicle that this carrier carries. There's also the Manta, which is the aircraft, and they are mainly used for uh, combative uh, duties, whether it is attacking uh, defences that have been set up on uh, an enemy island, or you could attack the uh, enemy carrier itself. So here we have uh, the Manta within the hangar. Now this can't carry as much uh, equipment, uh, maximum of 750 kilos. So if you ever look through the payloads, the uh, a single missile weighs 60, dual uh, missile mounting 115, the triple one 170. Uh, then we have, yes, the fragmentation bomb, which will do quite a bit of damage to uh, enemy islands, but this is uh, can only be mounted on the centre, as indeed can most equipment. So here we have the uh, ground attack laser, which I always take when I'm using these. Uh, again, this can only be mounted in the centre. 560 kg, so it only leaves me with 190 uh, more to uh, load up. So I could bung on a triple missile mounting. Oh no, that one can't be, uh, it doesn't say it can't be uh, mounted on the wing, but clearly it can't. So how about a double, can that? Yes, unbalanced payload, but I don't think there's much I can do about it. Okay, well there you go. So that's how the Manta is currently uh, loaded out. So then you can uh, bring it up to the flight deck, like so, and then you would click here to launch it, but, uh, well, we're currently underway at the moment, so I'm not going to launch it, which means I'll send it back down to the uh, hangar for now, which means that uh, I will have to sort out the payload again if, uh, <laughs> if I want to uh, use one. So, right, we're still leaving the island of Cerebus. Now, I always thought that there was an accelerated time feature in this, but it would appear there isn't. Apparently there is one in the uh, PC version, which I've never played. I've never even played the PC uh, remake. Uh, uh, Carrier Command Gaia Mission. Uh, that's despite the fact that I've owned it for three years. I bought it in a Steam sale, which explains it all. So now we're really getting underway. The uh, no islands in range, so we're heading towards this small island, which I, be I believe is called Burn. Uh, right, so while we are underway, I'll also show you, um, this is the attack and defensive uh, measures. So this is the huge laser cannon on the uh, carrier, which you have full uh, control of. You can also uh, increase or decrease magnification up to eight. You then have these decoy flares. If you launch a decoy flare, it's basically if there is a missile that's heading towards the uh, the carrier, launch one of those, the missile will be diverted towards this. You have these viewing drones. Once you launch a viewing drone from it, you can uh, then launch um, another missile which is like a surface to surface missile which is a bit weird because well so yes uh, it is surface to surface but you've got to launch it from 
one of those drones which are way up in the air so yeah I don't know about that one and then this these are defensive drones uh, if you check here that's the positions that they will be uh, placed around the carrier you can set them in quite a variety of uh, positions I find this one's just fine um, but I won't be using that just yet because we're currently underway although we are now in sight of uh, yeah it is burn I thought it was so autopilot is still uh, engaged actually I'll turn the autopilot off now and bring her in manually it's not exactly difficult but this is as fast as we can go when we are this close to the island so this icon here which I'm clicking it, it just stops your uh, carrier from moving either side it just has it going in a straight line along the uh, bearing that you've got it set there's the similar icons for the uh, um, the laser cannon and uh, on both the uh, the walrus and uh, the manta so yeah they're all over the place you can see how quickly the enemy carrier is moving it has already taken over what, about three or four enemy islands I've currently taken over one on well it's taken over neutral islands I should say but it's making them enemy islands you'll also notice that my fuel is now less than half so I do need to get some fuel once I have uh, set this island up shit I clicked that too early I mean, we are pretty close to it I don't think I've got very far to go before uh, the depth meter will start to go down there we go <coughs> All right. so let's go back to the walrus then uh, so I do need to set the payload up I want this to be another resource one so that's fine and then yep yeah, those okay that is ready to launch launch walrus one so again we'll switch off the uh, autopilot take her into uh, burn island could destroy some of those trees before I landed but no, don't look like I will be I think if you drive into those trees they will destroy uh, the uh, the walrus here so yeah you don't want to be driving around too recklessly dropped so you can just see the uh, carrier on the horizon there we'll speed up get the hell off here yeah this is as fast as we can go on the water so not the end of the world but I've used a small amount of uh, AAV fuel, not a hell of a lot though. Just wait for it to get into position, there we go. Right. Bring it in. You can actually watch the automated docking from within the, uh, the walrus. So the back of the carrier opens up. Yep. And we head in. 
There we go. Right, so that is the second island then, and that's done. So it's now a friendly island. So what we need to do now is, first of all, set Burn where we are as the stockpile island, which it now is. And then we want to start getting some uh, fuel transferred. Now we've got to wait from the, uh, for the uh, stockpile to be carried over from the old stockpile island to the new one. It doesn't take too long. But once that is done, we'll see uh, see it appearing here. Let's actually take there we go. Right, so we'll ship the lot over, and uh, I think actually, do I? Yeah, I can bring over that AAV fuel. I don't need any aircraft fuel, I think. Okay, I can bring over some. So, right, that's uh, selected. So the resupply drone is launched, and there you can see it. So it's launched from the island, it comes over to the carrier, uh, docks at the rear of the carrier there. So if we go to the... Uh, this thing here, watch it go around the side. Once it's delivered the uh, supplies, um, we can then, well, it then uh, leaves the ship and then just sinks. It is a one-use thing. Well, I mean, there's no limit to these uh, supply pods. transferring the supplies and there you go the fuel is uh, shot up so that's finished which means there you go it now sinks <coughs> so we're done with that we can now head to uh, a new island which will be this one up here because this will be a good place for a factory because it's close to our base island and has a direct connection to a resource island. So this is Elwood. We'll select carrier map. Uh, so we'll bring the carrier here. Program that. Right. Now this one, we're going to have to do this a bit manually because the uh, autopilot will try and send us in that sort of direction right through the island. It, the autopilot always tries to go as the crow flies which we really don't want. So once we are travelling more or less parallel with the island there, there we go, we'll take it a bit further, right, we'll, uh, crank up the speed, get ourselves past the uh, burn island a little bit. to uh, I think did it say it was Elwood so I mean this is uh, the strategy uh, game then so this is the one where you are starting right from scratch you want to build up um, a number of islands to uh, get your resources up and running and also uh, factories to uh, <coughs> Uh, supply you with um, 
additional equipment which reminds me I need to set up supply priorities I need to set up uh, those high priority now when I use the next one I think that will be the last one no I'll have uh, one left so we'll set that to three got the priority a bit high so hopefully um, I haven't got any factories set up yet so hopefully um, once uh, the factory is set up which is I'm going to be putting it on this island here that will then mean that uh, I can uh, start getting those uh, pods uh, uh, manufactured and then I can resupply the ship with them so yes this is very much uh, the long format of the game um, this is one that is really for people who do like uh, a decent amount of strategy as well as uh, their like action games because obviously when you're in like the uh, the walrus and even more so when you're in the manta yeah it, it, it is a bit sort of arcadey you do have to uh, shoot specific targets and everything else treasure is now an enemy island was that Treasure Island by any chance? Okay. No. okay. <laughs> but I mean, obviously, you can save your positions, uh, so you know you don't have to um, play it all in one fucking go, which is a good job, really, because uh, <laughs> you'd be here a fucking long time. Now I will be showing the uh, action game, so I don't think you know that this is all you're going to see. Uh, you will see uh, the game when things are a bit more frantic. Uh, so with the uh, strategy game, it starts off a little bit slow. I mean, I've got no problem with it. I, I, I'll cut the chase. I think the game is fucking superb. Um, and indeed, I was going to be reviewing this months ago if not a fucking year ago but um, the game always struck me as being a bit complicated and not very video friendly but having recently reviewed the likes of uh, Frontier and particularly uh, Sim Life this game seems like a fucking breeze in comparison to well certainly in comparison to Sim Life so I figured if I could do a review of those I can do a review of this so then I just deliberately held it back so that it would be the 450th. I, so I like to have fairly major titles for every 50 uh, reviews. Doesn't always work out. I mean, Chiller was the 50th. Fucking Packland was the 300th. So, yeah. Alright, so yeah, it is Elwood, this island. I thought it was. So well, let's prepare the walrus while we are approaching it. So again we want the laser. And again we want uh, one of these pods here. But yeah it's the factory one we want this time. So right that is ready. So I've already turned off the uh, automatic uh, pilot. We'll get... Uh, get ourselves well same you know distance as always just keeping an eye on the depth gauge so This island is fairly large, but we're approaching it at uh, quite an angle, so I mean, they're all um, you know square or rectangles, so you know there's no like odd shape 
islands or anything but uh, it does mean that the island will look a lot smaller than it actually is because of the angle we're approaching it so I think the depth gauge is going to start going down any moment any second yeah there it goes alright so we'll stop we've got the uh, walrus all set so right watch this one and that audio yeah that audio is not right <laughs> this is an issue I have I think it's because of the uh, settings I've got with this uh, I have my Amiga set up with about another mega fast RAM and this game doesn't seem to like it. It does annoyingly mean that the game will eventually crash got to find myself a better uh, disk image or change the uh, settings I use. Okay. Well, it's like I say, I don't know if you really have to clear a space by destroying all of these trees, but I do anyway. So, uh, right, that is the pod successfully dropped. Now, whereabouts is the carrier? It's maybe it's over this. Yeah, there it is. So, right, we'll speed up a bit and make that fucking irritating whining sound even louder. <laughs> Right, well, what I think I will do then is I am going to uh, reset the game and we'll uh, check out the uh, action game um, when, yeah, <laughs> with the sound not fucked up and with the, uh, well, also with a lot less chance of the game crashing because, yeah, once the sound fucks up like this, the game it's not far from uh, going completely tits up and unusable. I mean, fucking listen to that. Okay, so Elwood's now friendly. The AAV is staying outside the fucking docking uh, area. Okay, let's bring it in. Inside, there we go. Right, so that's now coming in. Even see it coming in. I hope the fact that it's showing us outside there doesn't mean it's now going to just piss off. Yes, it looks like it might because the uh, autopilot isn't engaged. And the game has now for, uh, crashed, which I had a feeling it would. Anyway, you've seen all that business, so uh, we'll reset it and. Um, yeah, be back when I've done all that shit. <sighs> yep, right, so we're back. So, let's start the uh, action game. Now, here, this island we are approaching is an enemy island. Get us stopped once we are. Uh, there we go. Depth is going down. So if we look at the map, there we go. There aren't very many neutral islands. The enemy still has far more islands than we do, but we do have quite a few ourselves. And as you can see, this island, which I think, yes, Thermopylae, is an enemy island. So we are going to need some of our mantas. And uh, actually, what we're also going to need is to release our. Uh, drones so right for those so they are defensive drones they will uh, attack 
anything that uh, heads towards the uh, uh, heads towards the, the carrier. In fact, what I'll also do see if I can take out that there. You've just seen uh, something launch from it. we can actually do it any damage. That's where the uh, enemy uh, aircraft and all that will get launched from. There is an enemy aircraft there. So of course, it's gone back in. Oh, anyway, right, so let's uh, load this up then. So what I want is, yeah, we'll get rid of some of the land defences and we'll also, what was it, the, the double one there, yep, yeah, and then the single one here. There we go. Right, let's get uh, this thing uh, launched. See how this does. I think the answer is going to be not very well. I, I am not very good at uh, piloting these things. So, yeah, fucking hell. I've already been damaged by this fucker here. And there you go. <laughs> So I didn't stand much chance uh, there, so I'm fucking hopeless at uh, this lot. Right, what we want to do is send in one of these. This command center virus bomb. Alright, so let's launch this. Now, if I can actually get uh, anywhere near it, if I launch that command center virus bomb at the command center, which is this part here, um, then that means I would, uh, well, it means that the enemy has lost control of the island because their command center is down. Now you can see there are some enemy shots approaching. Uh, there's one. I don't rate my chances of, uh, yeah, there's another shot coming in. Oh, that one missed. Fucking hell. Right, now I've got to go as fast as I can. Ah, fuck it. Destroyed before I even got to the fucking beach part. <sighs> of course, the, the magnification, I've got it up eight times. It looks like I'm right on top of the fucking thing. But of course, I'm not. I'm uh, here. Actually, fuck it. All right, let's bring in the uh, defence drones. And uh, let's get closer to the island. We'll be in danger of running aground, but uh, it also means we'll have a better chance of... Uh, not going to let us move yet because the drones haven't been uh, brought in. Now, now we are. Right. So if I can get closer to the island, that's about as close as I can get, I think. I don't know, I might... No, that's it. That's as close as I can go. I think I'm still don't think I'm close enough. I mean, it does take quite a few hits, at least it does with this thing. If I'm uh, using one of those like bomb things that I uh, was carrying on the uh, oh, fuck it, let's just use this to move it in steps. Let's see if I can take that out. Yep. Right. What 
else. I think everything else is all on the all on the far side of the island there. Oh no, there's this fucker. Okay, let's try taking him out. Now I've also got another idea. The command centre is marked red there. I'm sure that's the command centre. If it isn't, then it's that white thing there. But either way, we're nowhere near it. We're, if we were on the other side of the island, we would then be able to hit it quite easily. So... Yeah, we'll give this a try. It's a bit risky, especially as I'm so close to the fucking, uh, you know, so close to running aground. So I've basically got to, yeah, move further away initially, just so I can get the depth all right. So anyway, let's get the uh, review underway then. Um, presentation, the presentation actually for for this kind of game is a bit basic. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it, it could have been better. Uh, around the time that this was released in, in 88, I suppose, yes, uh, graphically it was or rather, yeah, in terms of the presentation, yeah, it was pretty good, but, uh, yeah, there, there is better. So, the presentation is a little bit hit and miss. Some of it is great, some of it not so great. Uh, right, I don't know why I can't there. Oh, there it is. Shots are going way off target. Okay. Yeah, I just saw on the radar there, my shots are out of range. So, right, now I think we can turn again. So yeah, presentation is reasonable, but yeah, I've seen better. Um, graphics, I think, are fucking great. Um, so yeah, initially, I wasn't that impressed with them. That was just because all I saw was static images, you know. So yeah, uh, I'm pressing the wrong fucking thing. I wanted us to uh, stop turning, not stop dead, actually. Right. Now we can stop dead, but let's bring us around. So yeah, the in-game graphics on, the, on things you know, like the carrier and all of the uh, objects on the islands, the uh, aircraft, whether it is yours or uh, you know, the enemy aircraft, the AAV, they all look really good. The icons are all extremely clear. It's uh, very easy to see what you are meant to be, you know, which icons are which. So it's it's easy to understand, it's easy to follow, easy to play. It's it's uh, you know, it's well done. I don't know if they're hitting or if they're just shy. I think they'll be getting us going over the top, yes. Stop. Okay, well let's go after the main, uh... Not here, that's the thing we really want to take out. It does take quite a few hits. 
surely we are close enough to be hitting it now. There we go, right, that's that destroyed. Now if I can take out that building... I think that will then mean that uh, he's lost control of this island. Well, I'm sure my shots are in range, I'm sure I am hitting it. Yeah, according to uh, the radar, there I am. Lasers overheating, okay. And there's also, oops, something over here, that red thing. Oh, I'll tell you what, he's not going to uh, be launching any new uh, uh, attack waves or anything, so let's. Uh, I'm sure I can build a defense one. And we'll take the laser. And I think it needs refueling, does it? This one? No. Right. Let's see how this does then. Uh, so we'll launch uh, Aorus 2. Let's see how we do here. Defenses, at least no enemy aircraft. Oh, okay, let's uh, see what happens when we uh, land. Okay, let's see if we can uh, launch this. Not a suitable place. Oh, fuck it hell. Something's just been uh, firing at us. <laughs> anyway, right, well, there we go. So, um, that is uh, presentation and graphics. In terms of audio, I mean, there's no music apart from that very small jingle at the start that you saw when I reloaded again. Um, the in-game sound effects are pretty basic, but they do the job. They do the job pretty well. Um, a lot of people do say that this is just a, a straight Atari ST port. Maybe it is, but it works, you know, it plays pretty well. So even if it is an Atari ST port, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Um... So how do I rate it? The only decision is do I rate it 9.5 out of 10 or 10 out of 10. Um, the, the game is superb. Uh, so, yeah, I, I would definitely uh, recommend it. They built a new fucking um, command centre. Fuckers. No wonder I couldn't drop that uh, AAV uh, pod. Okay, 
I don't know whereabouts on the island they built it. it. Looks fairly close to me. Looks like the shots are all hitting it. Unless it's on the oh well. Anyway, so uh, this is just a quick playthrough, so I'm not going to try anything in, in uh, too much detail, too much depth. So, uh, well, carrier commands, I'll give it, uh, yeah, I'll give it 10 out of 10. It, it is a, a fucking decent game, particularly if you can find a version that works. I'm pretty sure, though, I'll say that all of these, uh, disk images that I've got, they work fine for a while, so I, I'm sure it must be the, um, the settings I've got on my, uh, Win UAE. So maybe if you've got uh, fast RAM on your uh, or fast RAM enabled in your configuration, uh, disable it before playing this. Um, otherwise, yeah, you could have some problems. So well, there you go. That is a carrier command then for Commodore Amiga. Ten out of ten. It's a great game. Absolutely deserves its uh, reputation as. A uh, great uh, classic. I certainly can't argue with that. So that brings this review to an end, and we'll see you at the next one.